Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so I'm available for personal love reading should you guys need one. Everything's on my Etsy shop, including my tarot, my oracle decks, my spiritual jewelry. All right, so my Sagittarius, we're going to look at what's happening for you guys in December. Messages for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> All right, what is the challenge that you guys are facing in your love life? The challenge for Sagittarius. All right, the challenge for you, Sagittarius, is the Prince of Wands in reverse, okay? So there is um, that energy of... Um, being unsure, okay? Now, this could certainly be you with that wand energy. There could be something that you're hesitating on. You're a little bit mm, wishy-washy on. There is an energy of instability. Maybe someone is making you feel that way. Maybe someone is bringing you that energy, and therefore, that's the way you're acting, okay? That's the way you're feeling, okay? I feel like you're just unsure. Now, the current energy is the King of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Princess of Swords, okay, which is the Page of Swords, okay, so I feel in, in this current energy, we have an ending, an ending of some sort, I see you moving past this ending, okay, this could have been something that happened recently, Ten of Swords is a betrayal, it could be hitting rock bottom, it could be feeling devastated, or it could just be a little ending of a relationship or something, right, or something that has really been, um, that really hit hard, okay, now, there is, there is an energy of feeling, um, as if someone can't love you the way you want them to love you. Maybe someone hasn't been emotionally available to you. We have the King of Cups here. So in the reverse, he's not really available. So some of you guys are dealing with an emotionally unavailable person, okay? There could be someone here in your life where um, you recently found out something here as well. You put the Page of Swords. Maybe you didn't know something and you found out something that came really hard, okay? That brought an ending to this connection, okay? So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, give me the recent past here for you, Sagittarius. The Empress in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Death, okay? So that's that ending, Death. Scorpio, okay? Um, the Death card could be an ending of a relationship. It can also be the ending of a mindset, a way of thinking, a behavior. What is telling me in the past that something stopped growing? Something here wasn't being cared for, wasn't being nurtured, wasn't being loved. And so that's why something here wasn't stable, Okay, there could have been an ending of a relationship because someone here wasn't caring, meeting your needs, wasn't um, caring to change or compromise, change their ways, right? Make things happen. So there could have been a need for change with the death card, but maybe someone was uh, not changing, unwilling to change because we have this king of pentacles in verse. It's almost like they expect a lot from you, but gave very little in return. Okay, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. On your mind is the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the Temperance in reverse with the Moon. So what is telling me, Sagittarius, and the current energy is that there's been a lot of unknowns. There's been maybe a lot of emotions, ups and downs in this connection or in, or just with you in general. I feel a lot of you have lost your patience for something, okay, or someone. You've given this enough time. You've thought about it. You've been more than patient, and something here just isn't working for you. I feel that, Sagittarius, this could be someone here that you don't, you're not communicating well with. Maybe there's been a lack of communication or just really bad communication, right? Every time you communicate, it ends in like a fight or an argument. Um, I feel at this point, the moon card is speaking about things that are hidden from you. There could have been secrets. Okay? Some of you guys, you knew this person was hiding something for you, which is why you could be in that page of swords energy, trying to find out the truth, trying to get more information, getting to a bottom of a situation. But I think that this connection or whoever you're dealing with there's been a lack of stability i'm getting ups and downs you feel um like you're you haven't been yourself you've been out of alignment with yourself it's like this connection has taken a lot out of you and made you even i'm getting overreactive or some of you guys you've lost your temper with someone and it's bringing out a side of you that you don't even you didn't even know existed that's the energy i'm feeling here Okay, so let's see what's going on in the environment. I also feel with the Knight of Wands in reverse coming out, um, this is definitely the energy of someone overreacting, okay, or using their temper, losing control, okay, over a situation, anger, okay. In the foundation, we have the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse with the High Priestess. 
So whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're keeping very much in a secretive energy. They may not be telling you everything. There could be a lot of things this person is holding back. We're going to find out what that high priestess energy is. It could be a Pisces you're dealing with. I feel like whatever they're holding back, um, it could be regarding a new beginning, Ace of Wands. It could be regarding their, their, their desire to have this new beginning and take things off or get things back up and running. But they feel very burdened by it. The Ten of Wands. They feel like they're carrying a lot of weight. They feel like there's a lot of heaviness in their shoulder. They can't do something. It's too heavy, right? They can't do it alone right and so that could be why they're being very secretive or they're holding back because there's a lot of burdens they're carrying or emotional baggage regarding a past situation with you or the way things ended okay because the ace of wands is here and it's almost like they want to come in they're feeling inspired to have this new beginning but they feel like it would just fall flat on their face right it wouldn't work out okay because of all the conflict Five of Swords, because of all the fighting, the arguing, you guys just not getting along. So let's see what the outcome looks like here. Six of Swords, that's a good, good sign. Six of Swords, the Four of Swords with the Queen of Cups. So I do see an opportunity coming in the near future where you and this person are going to be able to move away from some kind of conflict or drama. Whatever you guys have been arguing about, whatever you guys just don't get along about, there's something about let's let it go, let's move away from it, let's get to the bottom of it. I also see a lot of healing taking place with the Four of Swords. This is the energy of recovering. It may require you guys to disconnect, okay, to not speak for a little bit because it may be a time where you just have to connect with yourself and do some deep thinking. How did I show up in a connection? Where did I go wrong? Where can I improve, right? And that may allow you guys to move away from some kind of past situation that wasn't serving this connection. The Queen of Cups is here. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So let's jump right in and get some more messages for you guys. Sagittarius in love, clear messages. So I want to clarify why the Knight of Wands is in verse. This is your energy. Sagittarius, maybe there's something that you're giving up on. You're not as confident about, okay? A lot of ups and downs, outbursts, anger, okay? What's this Knight of Wands about? I think a lot of you guys are working on controlling yourself and holding back or pulling away from a situation can bring back control over a situation here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. I think this is something here... Um, where you Sagittarius, you're trying to get back in control over a situation. This could be someone you're dealing with, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are is a third party. Maybe you recently found out about it with the Moon card and High Priestess and the Page of Swords, right? You may have found out about a secret person that this person was hiding, and now you're trying to get back control over the situation, okay? It may have taken you by surprise, and, it, you know, it really brought out this part of you that, you know, you're probably angry. You're probably really upset. It hurt you. So I think that this is about you pulling back, taking back your power, and working on rebuilding your stability, okay? Keeping composure in, in a situation here that may have been shocking for you. Now, give me clarity on the high priestess in verse. Something here stopped working. Someone here wasn't nurturing this connection. Could have been a third party as well. Yeah, there was a falling out of a connection. Ace of Cups, there was a falling out of a relationship. Some of you guys, there was a missed opportunity here between you and this person. There was some kind of relationship that just wasn't working anymore. I also feel like there was a lot of conflict and drama regarding this connection. Some of you guys, you got into a fight because of a third party mixing and meddling in the connection, okay? That's why there was a falling out. Why is the death card here? It could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here as well. The death card is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. I feel like Putting an end to a situation allows you to get back in control. The emperor is about moving forward, taking charge, bringing change, okay? Because I think that Sagittarius, whatever happened, it made you think about what you really wanted. It made you think about your long-term investments. What should you be putting in your time and energy into right now, okay? What should be your focus and your priority, all right? So let's get clarity on the temperance in reverse. So something here you lost patience about. Maybe you lost your temper. <laughs> the wheel, the ten of cups, and the eight of pentacles. So I think that Sagittarius, this is your focus moving forward. There's been a lot of positive change, and I think the change is coming after you take back control, right? The emperor. You decide, you know what? It's all about me, baby, right? <laughs> the ten of cups and the eight of pentacles. Some of you guys are focusing on your money, your commitments, your family, your home, what's important to you, your business, okay? Whatever that may be, your career. And that's bringing you a lot of happiness. I also see the moon card. What is the moon? Moon card here for it could be a lot of unknowns 
the fool in reverse and the page of swords. Yeah, there's something that you're uncovering, okay? Sagittarius, whatever's been kept a secret from you, whatever's been hidden, okay, behind closed doors without you knowing, you're finding it out. Page of Swords. There's something here you're finding out. And whatever you're finding out, it may make you reluctant to move forward with someone here. The fool card in the verse is kind of like, well, I'm not I'm no fool, right? <laughs> I see um perfectly clear now what's really going on. So the fool card in the verse could be indicating of you not trusting someone, you being reluctant to give them another shot, you not wanting to move forward in that direction anymore. So there's something you're finding out that can really help you in determining what you need to do now moving forward, what you need to invest in, right? What's important to you, okay? Because that moon, I do feel like there's something here that has been hidden from you for some time, but that page of swords is that mm -mm, not anymore. Um, I want to clarify what this... um energy is this ten of swords in reverse whatever came to an end you are moving forward you're picking up the pieces three of swords the knight of swords in reverse with the empress so you see this energy Sagittarius, something here definitely broke your heart, okay? This could have been someone here that you disconnected from after you found out some lies. You found out maybe there was a betrayal. There was an ending. There was something that really devastated you, okay? Heart broke. Uh, could have been heart. Uh, could have been something that really broke your heart. Three of Swords could definitely be a third party as well. But I think Sagittarius, I, I see this Empress. Now, this Empress could be a third party, some of you guys, but it also could be the energy of you deciding to... Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself, right? When someone here doesn't love you enough or, you know, they take you for granted, you put that love back into yourself, right? And so there could be someone you're cutting off and disconnecting from after you found out something, but you're now in this empress energy, right? There's new beginnings with this empress. There's manifestations taking place and you get to create what you want, all right? Because whatever you put into, it's going to grow, because you're, you're, you're that fertility, you're, you're that fertile energy, right? Whatever you plant, it's going to grow because you're the empress. You have that power. So let's see what's going on in the foundation. Why is it Ten of Wands? Someone is burdened maybe to come towards you. Um, yeah, they're waiting. Yeah, this is someone who's burdened to come towards you. They're not talking right now. Ace of Swords and Verse, they're afraid to talk is what it's telling me. They may certainly know that you're not <laughs> you're not in your best of moods right now, okay? There could be something here where they, they're afraid to talk. They're, they're in fear because you're upset, you're mad. They feel burdened. There's a lot of baggage you're carrying, maybe because they feel guilty for something they've done. And they're waiting for time. It's like time will make the situation better, right? I can't come in right now. I'll wait for Sagittarius to get over what I did to them. I'll, I'll wait for Sagittarius to heal. For Sagittarius to kind of cool off, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. This person doesn't want to face you right now. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ooh, wow. Yeah, Tower in reverse with the Four Cups in reverse. So someone here is definitely feeling like they can't come in right now. I'm getting, it, it's just right, it's hot off the press. That's the energy I'm feeling. Ace of Wands in reverse, this person definitely is thinking about a beginning, but they know um, they can't come in for a beginning right now because look, this Tower. So a lot of you guys are avoiding you. They're avoiding you because they're avoiding a tower moment. They're avoiding destruction, chaos, drama, a fight, an argument, right? And they feel as if you push them away. They feel as if they're not wanted right now in your life. The four cups, they feel as if you're just going to slam the door in their face. They feel you're not interested. You don't even want to see them. So there's a lot of secret energy here. Why it's a high priestess, a secret feeling, secret desires, the death card. They do want change and we have the ten of pentacles. So whoever this person is, they're keeping this a secret that... You know, they, they want to come back together. Ten of Pentacles, they see stability with you. Some of you guys, they may be wanting money from you. There's some kind of financial, um, maybe you're well, well off than them, Sagittarius. Maybe you have a lot more to offer than this person. But there is an energy of wanting change, transformation, or even wanting or willing to change, transform, in order to get back to this Ten of Pentacles with you. And that could be something they're keeping a secret. We got a Scorpio or Pisces here. As far as the outcome, we have the Six of Swords. Letting go of something from the past that didn't work, going into calmer waters, okay? But what one thing I am seeing, Sagittarius, in order for them to come back and make peace with a past situation with you, they have to release themselves from something. The devil came out in a verse, so there could be something this person, Sagittarius, has to let go of, cut ties with, okay? Free themselves from. This could be a karma. This could be a way of thinking. This could be a fear, past trauma, hurt, disappointment. Let that go because that is creating delays. In fact, it's like they can't, 
work on its connection with you until they really release of this toxic uh, energy with the devil card. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. But that is creating delays. That is the reason why something has not been able to move forward with the Eight of Wands in verse. Okay, it could be anything, but it could be something they're having to let go. And if they don't let this go, there's no use in them working on this connection with you. So what do we need to know about the Four of Swords? It's the energy of resting, recovering, healing. Yeah, the Hermit and the Queen of Wands in verse. I think a lot of you Sagittarius, you know yourself better than anyone, but I do feel you, you're taking a break. There's something about taking a break from this person, um, really figuring out what you want, going into this Hermit energy, connecting with yourself, strengthening your spirituality, your intuition, and really finding out what's best for you. What do you need to focus on? Right, finding answers, but that four of swords is really taking time and disconnecting because I think whoever you're dealing with, there's something here about with the Knight of Wands and verse, you can't just jump back in to another connection with them. You have to really think things through and really focus on you, Knight of Pentacles, bring back stability to your life because I feel like whoever this person is, they took a lot out of you and you're now having to replenish yourself. All right, so Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out later. Take care. Bye.